cruise moves on our day at sea. It's a beautiful day today. Perfect temperature. It's not too hot yet. But it's perfect, 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 perfect temperature. And of course, Anna is out here this morning with me. She's in, trying to enjoy as much balcony or veranda as she can. But guys, let me just kind of like show you. Like, this is how, like, no, wait. This is how big our veranda is. That's how big it is. It's huge. Yes, Anna was just saying it's the size of three normal ones. Pretty big. Anyways, so today is day at sea. We have Paulo's brunch today. And then at 2.45, we actually have where you can have a photo op with uh, Rapunzel's lantern at, at the restaurant Rapunzel's Royal Table. So we're going to go do that later. Maybe do some other activities as well. So we'll take a look at that. Um, and we're also going to go do some shopping. So last cruise I didn't get a chance to do the shops. So I'll do it this cruise to do in a, a little video. And I know there was like a few questions about like some food offerings at the quick service location. Um, so okay, go take a look at what else they have. And um, also probably check out the kids clubs. And maybe later also check out all the adult areas. So we'll see. But now we're going to go up to the concierge lounge. Get a quick light bite because our Apollo's brunch is at 1130. So we're going to eat light today. So see you soon. All right, cruise names. So we just got here to go ahead and uh, to the concierge lounge. And of course, it's on deck 10 midship. And of course, we sanitize our hands before going in. And um, Anne's got the key. Let me help you. Uh, it's got the okay, key. So point to me which one it is. And you gotta kind of pull forward. Well, see, got so. Yeah, well, it's Dinah. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Well, we made it to the concierge lounge, and we were talking to Kamisha. Um, we we they were telling us about the procedure tomorrow. Uh, through concierge, we have like an express walk off, so to speak, but uh, um, a like special line just for concierge. And so we'll be in Chippendale, uh, luggage tags, and um, they'll have continental breakfast from 7.30 to 8.30 tomorrow morning. And um, what we'll do is put our luggage out tonight, at both by 10.30. And then tomorrow morning, we can come up here and enjoy a little breakfast, and then they can walk us off. Um, and then what they were also saying is, like, if we want to get photos, uh, we can purchase photos through, or get the photos, um, any purchase photos through concierge uh, by 7.30 and, and whatnot. Um, so that was just a little bit of a quick procedure. Um, on that and we might go to bre regular breakfast tomorrow morning and then come up and then walk off because uh, we like to say goodbye to all the crew and and whatnot so anywho so we're now going to go enjoy a little bit of danishes so we'll we're going to go enjoy so see you soon Shopping, we have Ben, our shopping ambassador. 
He's got his Disney shopping show this morning. That's going to be taking place in Keys. They'll be giving away a complimentary exclusive charm bracelet. And there's also a mega raffle. Why not come and join me there and find out more about all the shopping opportunities that are available to you right here on board of the Disney Magic. So you guys have a on your left as you go in. Good morning. Good morning. Is it your real pop for you? Thank you. Let's go in there some on your left. Thank you. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I'm certainly no expert on so that, so why not to speak to the team if you have any questions about some of our luxurious treatments. Once again, they are the experts and they are located on deck 9 forward in the Sensor Spa. Mega Jackpot Bingo coming your way. Well, ahoy cruise nerds. We just finished with Disney Trivia and in O'Gills, which is one of the pubs here on the Disney Magic Deck 3 forward. And Anna was more of the cheerleader. Yes. And this was Disney Cruise Line trivia. I didn't so, do the, but I she half of them. she knew a lot of them. But she and then there was like some that she was like, wait, is this the place? That kind of thing. Um, but we won because we had 18 points. So we had the large, and we got Disney Cruise Line luggage tax. So mom and dad were there too. They were cheerleaders as well. So, yeah. So, but Disney Cruise Line got her. Uh, uh, luggage sex which was nice so anywho so we're gonna go to the room get ready for for brunch so see you soon guys Your basket looks the, better the than those. Yeah. <laughs> feta cheese, sun dried tomato, olive oil, and of course, olive oil and balsamic. Thank you. Seafood antipasti. Now this table is getting smaller. <laughs> Chef, aioli sauce. Marinara sauce. Yes, of course. Please don't be shy. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. All right, Christmas. So we just got our entrees, and it's the chicken parmesan with a little bit of risotto underneath. And everybody got the same, and it's the it smells good. It's it's delicious from what I'm seeing, everybody. And I'm about to dig in as well, but. I just want to mention that if you do have a chance to get Paolo's brunch or dinner here on board the Disney Magic, keep it. And even though the price is $45 right now, um, and it could change, but as of right now it is $45 for brunch at least, uh, per person. And, but, but not for plat. if you're platinum it's complimentary, but if your silver or gold or new uh, gas to Disney is going to be $45 per person. And the service here in the, on the Disney Magic and Palos has just been phenomenal. The atmosphere has been amazing. Our server, Marco, has been phenomenal. This is Marco from Serbia, and <laughs> he has been amazing. So if you do get lucky enough to get him, you're very lucky. In him. He's just amazing. He's so down to earth. He's magical. And he has been amazing um, so far. And the service, he is, the energy that we've been getting from the crew has been awesome. So, uh, see you soon. We're going to go and enjoy. Uh, so, see you soon. All right, cruise nerds. So, we just finished our chicken parmesan with risotto. And let me tell you, it was delicious. It was fresh. It and the risotto was even amazing. And it was like magnifique, as I would say. And magnifico, as they say in Italian. But chef, uh, executive chef Sadok from Italy just came over. And he came, and it was just amazing to meet him. And he's only been on the ship for one month. And it was just amazing food. So, Chef, if you are watching this, just know that your food was amazing. So, perfect. So, we're now going to just wait and look at the desserts. And see you soon.
Thank you. We done? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please, please, please. Oh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, crazy nerds. So we just got our desserts. Mom, Dad, and Anna all got the tiramisu, and it looks very beautiful. Definitely um, elegant of how they presented that um, on the plate. And I got the lava cake with uh, gelato. Uh, did, did you say it was uh, coffee gelato flavor? It's like coffee flavored, which I'm about to dig in in just a moment. I'll tell you guys how it was. But it's very pretty and um, it's one of my favorite desserts. So uh, we're going to go dig in and enjoy. So see you soon. All right, cruise nerds. Brunch was amazing. Hands down. Paulo's brunch here on the Disney Magic has beat Paulo's brunch over on the Disney Dream and on the Disney Fantasy. Post pandemic, they have beat it. Sorry, but the crew have been amazing. The chefs have been awesome with the food in here. It like the food came out amazingly, and it was just perfecto, perfecto, as they say in Italy. And I just can't say enough amazing things about Paulo's Brunch. If, and like I mentioned earlier, if you are able to do it, do it. Brunch or dinner. Regardless of which one you do, definitely do it and experience it here aboard the Disney Magic when you come back on board. So we're now going to go ahead and head out and we'll see you real soon. Right, crazy. So we're here at Rapunzel's Royal Table right now, because starting at 2:45 to roughly 4:45, according to the sign, you can actually get a picture with Rapunzel's lantern, which is right here. And it looks like you can you'll keep your face mask covering on until you are in front of the camera, and you will take a picture with the lantern. And it actually looks pretty amazing, don't you think? And, like I said, at least this is the only time that I have seen. Maybe they'll have more in the future. Who knows? Fingers crossed. And it's here in Rapunzel's Royal Table. So let's go take a look. See you soon.
crazy nerd. So we came back from shopping and doing a few other things around the ship, uh, like trivia, also doing the photo with Rapunzel's lantern. But um, I just wanted to point this out. So uh, the gratuities uh, that you get, um, you get your usual stateroom host, hostess, um, the dining team, head server, server, and assistant server. But one thing that you do get as being part of the concierge level is that you get a, um, a concierge a gratuity little envelope for the concierge team. And then also this time we are in Chippendale, so which is nice. And um, also one thing about the concierge is that um, they will give you a letter and it's just talking about um, the gratuities for the concierge team and whatnot. So I'll uh, take a look at that a little bit deeper and kind of understand it. And I'll do another video of just like everything concierge that is included. Because I, I know I've shared a few things throughout the cruise about the concierge and what you get. Um, so I'll make sure I try to cover everything in, in one video. Uh, so Or at least, you know, try to get it in in one of my segments of a video. One of the two, I'm still deciding. But um, at least now I know I have a little bit more knowledge of the concierge level, so which is a plus. So um, now we're just getting a few things ready and then we're gonna go back out. So see you soon. just like to mention that this is where Disney Cruise Line was made or for the Disney Magic for the Venice Magara Yard and that is in Italy 1998 that's pretty awesome and the Sense of Spa is up here on deck 9 forward so just to give you an idea so here's the forward elevator, and this is the sense of spa. Definitely much more spacious. Right, cruisers. So we're here in the Walt Disney Theater for the last night. We are gonna watch Disney's Dreams, an enchanted classic. And we're here in the Walt Disney Theater. We're early. So, anyways, when you come in, you're gonna come, there's gonna be two doors on either side. When you come in, you're gonna see some of the crew staff. Here. You're gonna see these awesome, awesome crew members. They are going to seat you in the designated rows. You're going to keep three seats in between each family. And they are going to ask you. No recording, no flash photography, no anything that involves any external lighting. Stow them away. That's a big no-no. And just enjoy the show. See you guys soon. Alright cruisers, so in the concierge zone, you're going to have these lovely ladies assisting you in getting your food, your alcohol, things like that. These lovely ladies, Fernanda and Giselle, both from Honduras, Mexico and Honduras, 
and they're amazing so if you get to meet them as well as Mel Roy over here you're in amazing hands so just wanted to point that out so now it's time to go to dinner so see you soon all right crazy nice so we're going to dinner now and of course animators palette so we're gonna go to our table so See you guys soon. Well, ahoy, cruise nerds. So we made it to Animator's Palette. And tonight we have, of course, the draw your own character. Now, normally, in a normal world, we can keep these and they would put a sticker on it, you know, saying um, animator type of thing. But due to COVID, we're, they're not giving them back, which is okay. For us, it's okay because we have plenty of these at home. But if you want to take pictures of them, um, and keep them as like pictures and memories. I definitely recommend doing that. You know, take picture before and after, and especially like as a side picture. And I think I saw Anna had her lips decked out. She wanted to keep hers. Keep it. <laughs> that was also because I want blue. Yeah. We don't have blue I know. Yeah. You're given She's, one crayon, but you can take around the table. If you want to borrow with a neighbor at your table, yeah. you can do it. Um, but uh, so we're gonna go do our drawing and turn this in. So see you soon. All right, cruise nerds. So I finished my drawing. Here we go. That's what mine looks like. Now I'm gonna give it to my server. Thank you, Randy. Shout out to Rindy and all of their Lando team. So it's really awesome. So, um, anywho, so uh, we're just going to go take a look at the menu now that we are finished with our drawings. So we're going to go ahead and get going. See you soon. All right, cruise nerds, if you have cruise, you know Texas. Texas has been here for years and he's basically watched me grow up since I was a basically a baby for how long Texas have we known you oh wow 2004 we've known Texas and you know we've had a lot of great memories with Texas he is part of the head server team if you can tell from his attire <laughs> He, he looks fabulous still. I try to keep him young because, you know, he's watched me grow up. So I got to make sure I keep him young and going. So, but yeah, Texas is one of the head servers, part of the Orlando team here on the Disney Magic. So if there's like any uh, questions you might have, like dietary restrictions or anything like that, Texas is your man. So anyway, just want to introduce everyone to one of our head servers, part of our fabulous Orlando team. See you soon, guys. Okay, cruise nerds. Just we've been so busy with the crew and animation and whatnot. Let me get Anna in the photo here. She says this is a boot. I say it's a hat. You know, Peter Pan's hat. That's a really hat. Or Robin Hood. No. Robin Hood. Robin Hood hat. You know, can't go wrong with that. Maybe. Who knows? What is it? What's what is this, John? Peter Pan shoe. Peter Pan? Yeah. Peter Pan shoe. See, I got the right character. Yeah. And Anna got the right piece of fabric. Oh. She it, got the right character. Oh, look. It's been. It's supposed to be like this. Yeah, you turn it around. Okay, yeah. Did Just you like, make this? Huh? Oh you didn't open your napkin. No! <laughs> I didn't do it! They were sitting on the table. <laughs> We just haven't done our. <laughs> yeah, John and John, another head server who we know and love for years. So John, who is coming to the video now, he is part of the head server team and on the Orlando team here on the Disney Magic. Another amazing head server who we've known for years and who we truly cherish. And if you get him, once again, you're very lucky. He is like the best of the best. And I mean that with all love and respect for John. So if you see him, definitely say hi. And maybe you get him on your next cruise on the Disney Magic. So, yeah. Hope to see you all real soon. Yeah, so he's excited. So, um, so anyways, see you soon.
did it. <laughs> Meaning John, the head server. Uh, we could definitely tell that's a food now. Yes. Because a professional did. All right, cruise nerds. So uh, we are getting our appetizers, and here comes Rindy actually with my black truffles. Look at that. So yummy. Yeah, and everybody, or three of us, got the black truffle. So, and it's very delicious. What do you think, Anna? Very, very good. delicious. Very good. It is very, very good. It looks definitely flavorful this time, and especially sauce. And it's not too dry. It has a lot of sauce, so, and creamy and everything. So, we're going to go ahead and dig in before it runs away. See you soon. All right, Cruisers. So, we got our soups. I got both the big baked potato and, was it? Squash. Baked potato soup and the butternut squash soup. And I just got the baked potato as well as mom and dad. Anna, what did you think of your soup? I love it. It's very creamy and flavorful tonight. Flavorful. Yeah, That's flavorful a new word. Flavorful. <laughs> That's a new word, guys. Cruise term. It's good. Yeah. It's really, really good tonight. And it's really hot. It smells delicious. If you don't believe me, ask Anna's dishes. Overall, so. the food the entire cruise has been fantastic. Exactly. So, but it's amazing. The crew's been awesome. All the whole nine yards. So, anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy my soup, and then go from there. And we're gonna plan tomorrow because tomorrow we get off. I don't. I have to work tomorrow night, but I don't want to go. Especially after, especially after the four days in concierge. As always, we'll oh, be back, though. Yeah, but concierge. Yeah, that's going to be heartbreaking to leave yeah. our two bedrooms. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Oh, my but, God. But I know Mom. Now, Mom said this earlier, Anna. Mm. She's turning into a pumpkin tomorrow. Yes, she said at midnight, her uh, beautiful coach is turning into a pumpkin. Meaning the two-bedroom suite. She's turning back into Cinderella. And she she's giving us the look. That mama look. Yeah. Yeah. But heartbroken. But it was such a wonderful experience. Well, we're not as uh, we're not as heartbroken as mama, but. <laughs> All right, cruise nerds. So we had our dinner. Anna had Anna. What did you have? Tuna steak. Tuna steak. And that will look really really good. <laughs> and I had the pasta as always because that's my favorite dish here. And then what did mom and dad get? They got the same thing, right? Uh, It, there's a, yeah, <laughs> internal joke, guys. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know what we're talking about, you know what we mean. So, uh, the show was awesome. Our animations were on the screen, and Mom's was actually on one of the birthday cake. And then there's Rindy. Okay, here's our guys, Rindy and Naraj. They were our team this time, so it was definitely awesome to have them. So. All right, cruise nerds. So we're here in Shutters, and uh, we couldn't find our photos. So, and we even tried the way that we, you know, like the photo finder. So um, a cast member came over and helped us. So we're all set to go, and um, we were just waiting for a crew member to approve them to make sure it was in our account. And now we were able to do it. Now we know for future how it works. And they said sometimes it could be the Wi-Fi signal on the ship that couldn't um, that it couldn't be added. So that's why it possibly could have been not added to our account. So, anyways, just wanted to mention that. See you guys soon. Hi, Manny. Have a good night. Say bye, Pluto. Bye, Pluto. What time it is?